Whovians, welcome back to the Geek Cider Show. My name is Josh, and in this video, I'm reviewing the Doctor Who comic book, Fourth Doctor Adventure, titled Gaze of the Medusa. This will be a spoiler free review, so if you have not read this, you can watch this video without fear of any spoilers. Now, granted, I haven't watched a whole lot of classic Doctor Who, but I've seen more of the Fourth Doctor than any other classic Doctor, and I do really feel like Gaze of the Medusa pretty much captured the vibe of the Fourth, Do Fourth Doctor to a T. I will say the art in this comic is a little bit sloppy. The Fourth Doctor, the likeness, is dead on in every single panel. Where it gets sloppy, though, is with Sarah Jane Smith. She almost never looks like Sarah Jane Smith throughout the entire comic. Also pertaining to the art, I wish the colors had been a little bit brighter and more vibrant. What I really liked about this story is it has a very different take on Medusa. Now I'm not going to spoil that because it's a really great take on it and I don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't read it and is planning on read it, reading it, but I do want to mention the Scryclopses. Oh my gosh, the Scryclopses are awesome. They're Cyclopses who can see through time and space, so there is no place the Doctor can hide. And they're gargantuan, they're huge, and they're scary, and they're awesome. These are monsters that I would love to see moved over into the television series if they ever decide to do something like that, I think it'd be amazing. Of course, the title of this comic is Gaze of the Medusa, so you can pretty much bank on, you know, Greek mythology is a theme throughout, and there's a couple of supporting characters, and their names are Dr. Odysseus and his daughter Athena, which I feel like is a little bit on the nose with the, the Greek mythology theme. I think they could have named them a little something else. Maybe, maybe play with the, the names, play with the words a little more, not just take the names directly out of Greek mythology. I don't know, it's just, it's just too on the nose for me. All in all, though, I really did enjoy this comic book. I would recommend it for any classic Doctor Who fan, any Doctor Who fan overall, even if you're only familiar with New Who. I, this, it's a great, great comic. I would definitely recommend it. I also, uh, I'm going to read the third Doctor uh, graphic novel that just came out the other day. I'll get around to reading that and doing a review for that here one of these days. Next week, Anna will be back with me and we'll be doing some more 13th Doctor theories in next week's video. So I hope you guys join us for that. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you can let me know by dropping a like on it, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video and help us grow our channel. Kitty cat! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.